Hello, today we are going to see how to make hyacinth flower with crepe paper. There are different ways of making a hyacinth flower. I'll teach you one of the methods. For this, we need crepe paper. We need to cut square from this, many squares. So, the size of the square, I'll take around 3 inches. So, I'll cut a strip of 3 inches. I'll need more papers. So, I'll cut 2 strips of 3 inches width. Each paper, we need to cut squares. So, fold it in a triangle here, you will get a square. So, fold it here, this is a square. Keep folding it, so that the whole strip of paper will be folded in layers of squares. If it is difficult for you to handle it like this, you can just cut a few squares first then take the rest of the paper again fold it in a triangle when you fold it here you will get a square repeatedly fold it so that we get many squares now The last one is smaller, so we will leave that. I will separate the squares now. I will cut on these poles so that we can separate the squares. Same way for this. Now, we need to cut a flower shape in this. So, take each square, fold it in a triangle, again in a triangle, then the third triangle. This is the center. I am folding it three times, first diagonally, then another fold. Then the third fold. Now we will cut a petal shape. This is the center of the square. So I will cut a petal shape now. Like this. Now hold the stop and twist it. and open it. You will get a petal shape like this. In the same way, we have to make all the squares like this. I will show it again. Take the square, fold it diagonally, again fold it in half, then the third fold. So I have made three folds. Now cut it in a petal shape. Remember this is the center and on the opposite side of the center you have to cut this petal shape. Now the tip of the petal, twist it once and press it like this. Open it. You'll get a petal shape like this. Similarly, do for all the squares. Three folds. A 
a curved petal shape then on the tip gently twist it once and press it don't squeeze it too much it might tear just twist it once and press when you open you will get the petal like this so i have made around 20 of these now for the stem you can take a broomstick for the stem or else you can also use a skewer stick if you don't have a skewer stick also you can use an empty refill now for the tip we need to make a small bud so that when we assemble all these petals the petals should not come out so this was some leftover paper that I had make a bud around it just press around it roll and press it and tie it with a thread so like this tie it tightly and make a loop put it around and pull so that you get a knot this is done now we need to assemble the petals so take one petal right from the center from the other side of the stem this is the bud from the other side of the stem poke it in bring it to the top then apply some glue at the base of the bud I have applied some glue here and just at the center press it a little bit like this so that it kind of closes the bud and it is stuck to it same way one by one we need to assemble the petal poke at the center again a little bit below it for the rows we have to stick all the petals at the same level but for the hyacinth we need to st stick it one step below so only here at the center press it a little bit so that it sticks to the stem and open the flap you can also do it like this apply some glue at the center of the petal around the stem bring it up and just below the previous petal press it and stick it See, it has already taken the shape of a flower like this hyacinth are long flowers so we have to arrange all the petals like this so I will use a second method apply glue at the center bring it up and stick it so more the petals you have the more longer the flower will become So 
can get here just below this press it so that at the center it sticks to the stem so like this i will arrange all the petals I am done sticking all the petals. See now it's longer like this. Now for the stem, we can wind it around with a green paper. So I'll take a strip of green paper and wind it around. the stem, apply some glue, hold it cross and wind it around the stem. Hyacinth can be done in many colors. They look beautiful in almost all the colors. So the stem is done. Hyacinth has long leaves. So I will cut long strips of paper for making the leaves. So I can make two leaves with this. The base will be broad. I'm making two leaves. So lengthwise, I'm folding it in half. And then the base, this is the base of the leaf. And the top will be tapering. Like this. When you open it, you'll have leaves like this. I will stick these leaves. Apply some glue at the base of the leaf, spread it and wind it around and stick it like this. I stick another leaf here. Wind the base around the stem like this. This is the hyacinth you can make with grey paper. 